Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Aries EDC. I have an interesting one for you today, not too long, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But before I get into what I want to talk to you guys about, um, please subscribe to the channel. I uh, am working on getting to 2,000 subs before the end of 2024, and I'm a long ways away, so any subs, sub, more subs, the better. Um, also, you can check out my Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. So, I've been going on and on and on about being stressed and overworked. And, and a lot of it is not because of you. It's all pressure that I put on myself just because I'm one of those guys that if you tell me to show up someplace at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be there probably 8.45 um, 8.50. I'm always going to be early. I always want to be, make sure I'm prepared. And, you know, that's just who I am. So when I say I'm going to do all of these builds for whatever month it is, I want to make sure I get them done within that month. Even though I do put a timeline on myself for six to eight weeks for a knife build. And most of the times I'm well within that six to eight weeks. But Eight weeks is two months, and that would push me into the following month. So it's just all pressure that I put on myself. So you ask, and I have thrown it out there, taking a month off, doing some projects that I would like to do. And you might be asking, Aries, what are those projects? What, what have you been putting off? What is something that you want to do for yourself? Well, there's a couple things. And I've shared uh, most of these actually on the channel at some point in time, but maybe you're new and you have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm going to talk about three projects that I would like to personally do myself. Um, and we're just going to talk about the actual knife, uh, not handles and everything else, because I can get down a rabbit hole of that. And I just found some new stuff that I really want to try that is... Uh, very interesting. I just got to find the right knife to do it with. So what would I like to do? First, I have this bar of Magna Cut and I've done the Magna Cut yoke dough and that turned out pretty good. Why is my camera not focused? Well, anyway, so what I want to do, first of all, is I want to do uh, the Magna Cut Stigma. So this is the model um, it's very similar to the pistol, except it doesn't have the harpoon on it. Um, it's a little bit, sh little bit smaller of a blade, but I want to do the Magna Cut Stigma. Um, excellent thickness. This is a 316. It says 316, but this stuff is like almost quarter inch thick. And uh, so doing a small knife might be a little weird. I could do a skeletonized one, but I really want to do a Stigma. Um, I have some material I want to use for the handle on it, but the stigma is what I would like to do. Um, what do you guys think of that? So I think the thickness is good for this size of a blade. It's still a little thick, but it, it I, it's either, if I'm going to do a full handled blade with that kind of thickness, it needs to be a larger one. Also, it leaves me enough to possibly do another skeletonized model of some kind. Um, so uh, I need to get another blade out of the Magna Cut. And this is what I would like to do. So I would like to do the Magna Cut Stigma. The last Magna Cut went fairly well. I thought it would be much harder and difficult to work with. Um, not that it wasn't a walk in a park, but... At least I was able to finish that blade and get it, um, hopefully one day, get it back to that person who it's going to. <laughs> that was the package that just got shipped back to me. But anyway, the stigma is one that I really, wanted, really want to do. It's been sitting around, and it's a project that's just kind of been on the back burner. Um, the next one... Hmm. The next one is one that I've teased on several occasions, and it's, it's working with the Damascus and working with this mammoth molar. Um, 
yeah, it, the, this kind of cracked a little bit, but I'm going to have to glue it all back together anyway. So, um, so I have this mammoth molar. I love the color on that. And I, what I want to do, I had this bar of Damascus that I purchased. Uh, it's 1084 and 15 and 20 and a little nickel thrown in. And I want to do a Damascus Tobico with the mammoth molar. So I think that that blade with that kind of handle material is going to be pretty, pretty cool. So I really want to get that one done. And that's been on the back burner for quite some time. I got all this stuff in January and here it is May. And I haven't had an opportunity to do anything with it because I've just been so busy. So I really want to do this. And, you know, I have all this Damascus that I can work with. But these are all custom things that for me, not a customer order. I'm not doing any customer orders with Damascus. So don't reach out. Don't say Aries. I want this blade in that Damascus. But no, sorry. This is just for me to play with. So, but the Tobiko with that, I think the Tobiko, the height of that blade is really going to show off and showcase that raindrop pattern on the Damascus. And the handle is big enough where I'm not going to waste a lot of material on that. Um, but this bar of Damascus was pretty pricey. And of course, I'm not even going to tell you how much I paid for just these two little pieces of uh, mammoth molar. So this one is going to be a pricey item and one that I would build for myself. But I think I ended up, I would end up selling this, but it's going to be at a pretty high price tag. So I have the Magna Cut pistol. And the Tobiko with the Mammoth Molar are two projects that I would like to do at some point in time this year. <clears throat> and the last one is a new design. And I know, I know, I know. Gosh, the last thing I need right now is a new design. Um, but this came up and I actually, to be honest with you, thought somebody was going to want this. So I kind of was thinking ahead and I went ahead and designed it based on what they wanted. And while I was doing it, I kind of really liked the shape. Um, and I'm kind of torn with it. So I'm going to share it with you. It's still on paper. Uh, still haven't really fledged it out too much, but it is the sax design that I think I'm going to call the spike. Um, I based it off of the thorn handle, but it's more of a sax shape. Um, and I think that is gonna be pretty killer. I might pull that blade back a little bit, like to here, um, just to give it a little bit more edge to it. But uh, I think that would be pretty sick. Um, it's gonna be a little bigger. Uh, you can see it's about, well, turn that around. Um, you know, a little over three inch blade. And overall, it's about six and a quarter inches long. So a little bit over three, a little bit over three, balanced blade to handle ratio. But I think it's going to be a pretty killer design. Um, but again, I have to get it off of paper and put it into wood. And that's where I really start to play with what that design's really going to look like. But that is something I really wanted to do, but I just haven't had the time to do it because I'm so swamped with, you know, you guys. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it, it is something that I've been wanting to be creative and do something new. Um, and then there's one other project that I have on the back burner, but that's one of you guys um, asked me to create a new design for themselves. And that is going to be the last kind of customer asked kind of design. I don't think I'm going to do those anymore. It's just, a, it's, it's, I appreciate it, but I, if it just puts a lot of pressure on me uh, to make sure I'm making that dream come true for that person. And um, as much as I enjoy doing it, I need to really focus on my designs and the stuff that I am doing. And that might sound selfish, but I think it's part of what's going on. So those are three things that I really, really want to do before the end of this year. 
Um, and, and I'm looking around my shop and I'm starting to realize that there's a lot going on right now that I'm just like so swamped in that <laughs> I'm falling, I am keeping up and I'm not falling behind, but I, I really want to take a month for myself. So either June or July, depending how the rest of this month goes, I might be taking off. So I, I apologize for those of you guys who've been trying to get in the books. Um, I know a lot of you have reached out wanting to get in the books. How do I get in the books? I want one of your knives, but I, I really have to take some time, reset, and I really want to get these projects done and just take my time doing them. I can cut out that magnet cut one, send it off, get that one in a good place, send it off the heat sheet, and then work on the others. Um, the spike, I'll probably just end up doing an ADCRV2 um, since it'll be the first one. And then the Damascus, well, that's the Damascus. And I have fun taking my time with that because of all the processes and steps added to making a Damascus blade. So that's kind of three projects that I would like to get done this year. Maybe June or July, I can start working on them once I'm done with this month and all of those extra things that I have going on. So anyway, that's what I have for you. Um, thank you, everybody, for your continued support with your kind words. Um, it does push me forward. I appreciate all the things that you guys have done and the builds that I've been doing have been amazing. Um, the handle materials and the things that you guys come up with has been really inspiring but i think it's some time for me to kind of step back and do some stuff for myself um again i need to see how may goes so far i'm kicking butt on may i'm almost um halfway done with a lot of the builds and that's a good place so doing well but we'll see i'm i'm thinking if it's not june and then it'll be july i'll take it off but We'll see how it goes. So thank you guys very much. Please, please subscribe to the channel, like, leave a comment or not. That choice is yours. Thanks a lot, guys.